How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. I really do. Anyway, what I want to talk about this video is I want to talk about why games come out in the state they do. Okay? Um, the reason why I want to talk about this subject is because this is a subject that has really been bothering me over the last, well, I'd say five, six years. And I, guess, and I guess it all kind of started with, or at least as far as I know, it all started with um, CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, it all started with that. We all know how the launch of that game went. Yep. That's what started it. Anyway. But that's not where it is, people. No, 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 no. That's not where it is, my friends. No way. No how. It continues on into WWE 2K20. We all know how much of a buggy, crash-prone, glitchy pile of garbage that game turned out to be. Oh, yeah. We all know that. Now... The reason why I bring this up is, well, I just want to bring this up to you guys because, well, I want to get you guys' opinion on this, okay? Why do you guys think that games are coming out are coming out unfinished, unpolished, and games that quite frankly could use a little more time, the metaphorical of it? What do you guys think that is? Now, let me tell you. Cyberpunk 2077 needed probably about another six months to a year in the oven. WW2K20, however, I'd say that needed about another three, four years in the oven to before it was going to be finished. And that's kind of why 2K games, I honestly got to think, if you guys really put out another... I mean, put out another another stinker like you did with 2K20, with WWE 2K20. Maybe it's time that WWE thinks about finding another, um, um, oh, what do you call them? Oh, what's that word I'm thinking of here? God, no, that, God, in the tip of my tongue, now I can't think of what it is. Maybe one of you guys out there. Maybe one of you guys out there knows what I'm, know what we're, knows what we're, I'm talking about. Designer? No, no, wait, that's not it. Developer. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, another developer. Yeah, it might be a good idea for them to actually go about you know looking for another developer. If in two K twenty four or any other time the or any other two K game comes out the way two K twenty did. I think that it might be time because, like, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this, but try to get, try to figure this one out, okay? Like, one time I was playing, like, WWE 2K22 or 23, I can't remember which one. But anyway, I was doing this mixed tag match. Yeah, anyway, I had just, I had, okay, like, I think... The guys were le were the legal participants. I can't remember who can't remember who the heck was in the match, but anyway, anyway. Um let me think. And then all of a sudden one of the participants on the other team enters the ring and then game crashes. And believe it or not, it's the only time this ever happened. So yeah, I don't know why that happened. It was just a normal mixed tag match. Yeah, figure that one out, guys. Cause I don't know. I don't know if it's like I don't know if the game was like not quite. I don't know if the game was just about ready. Was just about ready to go for release at that time. Or again, again, like again, like I said, it was maybe the game just needed to be patched up a little, you know. And that's another. That's another thing that drives me. Nuts. That's another thing that kind of drives me a little bit insane about games today. 
all the patches that are needed to fix problems that should never have been. Example, all the patches they had to do with Cyberpunk 2077 to get it to the state it currently is in. Now, to get WWE 2K20 to actually to a playable state, they would have had released so many patches, you know what would have been a better idea? Recall the game. Yeah. And for those of you who bought 2K20, yeah, I honestly gotta think that 2K games should give you your money back. Regardless of whether you bought it day one, you bought it at a retail store, and no matter how long you played it for, yeah, they should really give you your money back. And, uh, um, let's see. Okay. And when games say they're coming out, you notice how, like, on the PlayStation website or whatever whatever you're with, and the, and the game says, Announced? But ironically, they don't say a release date, or they don't give you any, you know, any area of time to speculate on. But yet, on the website itself, where the, where the game is listed, it does give you, like, you know, a release date. Like, let's say a game's going to come out in September this year, okay? See, now that gives you something to speculate on. Does it mean at the beginning of September? Does it mean at the end? Somewhere in the middle? I don't know. Or could it possibly mean it needs it? Or could they possibly mean they need to, you know, you know, get it get it ready for release maybe in September, possibly October, possibly November? Yeah, something like that. You know. See now, that's what I'm talking about right there, people. When it says, when it says release September 2023, you could actually speculate with that. Whereas it says release date not, a, not announced yet, you can't, you can't speculate that. You can't speculate at that point. And that's another, that's something else that's been driving me absolutely insane about games these days. Again, why do you guys think this is? I mean, do you think games are coming out, you know, in their in unfinished, unpolished, bug-filled, crash-prone designs, you know, because they're not because they're not quite ready to go, or do you guys think there's another reason? Again, I don't know. That's why I want to hear from you guys on this subject. So, okay. Now, here's something that Nintendo, I think, really needs to realize. And this is something I don't think they realized at all. Okay, Nintendo, do you remember when you released the, the Nintendo Switch? Do you, did you not realize that the, that the processing thing, the processing power, that the processing chip and that thing, was a little underdeveloped. Did you not realize that when you put it in? Did you think maybe it might have been a good, a good idea to put in like a higher power processor chip in that thing or whatever you call it? Um, let me think. What's something else that's bugging me? Oh, yeah. How about games that are based on movies? That's something that's been bugging me since about 1989. When a certain company brought out a game that, that nowadays has been deemed so bad, and it has almost nothing to do with the movie at all. And it was made by one, and it was made by a company that, well, frankly makes horrible games. Or made horrible games, I guess I should say. See, this company isn't around anymore, thank God. And this company went by went by three simple letters. I'll say what the say what the name is as far as I know. 
laughing, joking, numb nuts. I think we all know what company I'm talking about. At least for those of you guys who are as, who are as old as I am. Yeah. And to be honest with you, these this company made so many horrible games that were based on movies. <sighs> like, get this one. Okay. This is the one I was talking about that I wouldn't say. The game is called Back to the Future, right? So you're thinking it's, it's based on the movie that came out in 1985, right? Not entirely. Get what you have to do in this game. Get this. You have to you have to walk up the you're walking up the street collecting clocks, and you're thinking, wait, what does that have to do with the movie? And the answer is nothing. That has nothing to do with it. And the reason why you're trying to the reason why you're collecting clocks. Okay, remember that photograph that Marty has, that Marty has with him throughout the movie. And the fact that his sister and brother dis are starting to disappear. Yeah. That's why. Because you're trying to keep that. that trying to keep that photograph together. Oh god. What does that have to do with Back to the Future? Walking up the street collecting clocks. To keep a photograph. To keep a photograph whole. Nothing. And you have four bonus stages. First one's at Lou's Cafe. Where you, where you have to throw milkshakes at bullies. Second one, if I remember correctly, is you're at Hill Valley High collecting, trying to collect Lorraine's, trying to collect hearts that Lorraine's throwing at you. I think, I want to say, Third one, you're at the dance trying to, you know, trying to collect musical notes. And the fourth one is the one that basically ends the game all together. I think where you're trying to get the lightning bolt, where you're trying to make sure, you know, you're doing like in the move, where you're doing kind of like in the movie, where Marty's trying to make sure the DeLorean's going 88 miles per hour, so he, so so he hit the lightning. I mean, hit the, you know. Hit that little street, that little rope thing that Doc tied between the two lampposts. No, it was electrical wire. I remember now. <laughs> Sorry, I, I guess I guess I kind of forgot what it was there for a moment. <laughs> anyway. Of course, they made a sequel based on 2 and 3. Which again have practically nothing to do with the movie at all. How about Beetlejuice? There's no you're thinking there's no way they can screw this one up, right? Nope. How about the fact you're trying to step on bugs? Uh let's see. Let's see what else. You're trying to Basically, turn off lights, what looks like light switches, to get a cloud to go up to the next part of the game, I guess? I don't know. <sighs> Let's see what else, what else, what else, what are games, what are games they screw up? What are ways that they, that they make a mistake with? Um, let's see now. I mean, LJN just basically, just, they had no idea what they were doing as far as movies go. As far as making movie-based games, not a freaking clue. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And, that, and that's something else that, that's something else that really kind of gets on my nerves. When you know what you know with your console always having to be you know connected online to play certain games, that is something that really, really is a big problem. Yeah. 
So if this drives you guys nuts, or, or if any of these problems are, you know, problems you guys have experienced or have ever dealt with, don't feel bad. Because, yeah, you, you guys are not alone in this. So, yeah, I just thought I'd, you know, throw this, throw this little video together. You know, as my thoughts of what I, of what I think is wrong with about, with games, you know, from, from about the last 34 years, or maybe 30, let's see, maybe that's 34 38 of what's wrong with games for the last 38 years yeah so yeah what do you so guys go ahead go ahead and give me your thoughts on what you guys think you you guys think is wrong I mean do you guys agree with some of the things I said in this video? I hope you do. And I hope you guys, you know, you know, had, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know, a like would be appreciated. Um, again, give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. And, yeah, share this video around if you want to. I mean, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, that sort of thing. I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. You could do, could do those things for me, guys. You guys remember, you guys take care of yourselves. Love y'all very much. You guys be good. You guys behave. Have a Try to have a good weekend. And try to have a good week next. Try to have a good summer. And guys... Till next time, later fam squad.